But first up, Mel's back on track. Here I am on the next leg of my legendary Pacific Coast adventure. I've been to Lake Macquarie, I've been to Newcastle, and now Great Lakes. This is Wallace Lake behind me. Great Lakes, I'm gonna have a great time. And first I'm gonna sort out my accommodation using the iPhone app. The legendary Pacific Coast app will show you what's in the area. And this region is called the Great Lakes for a reason. Water is definitely on the menu. Now, Foster Beach Holiday Park manager Chris reckons there's tons of things to do. There's great walking tracks, there's magnificent national parks, the experience of Wallace Lake, either boating, fishing, kayaking. Uh, well, if you're a water sport person, you'll love it here. I think Chris must be one of those people if the photos on the wall are anything to go by. I hear you've got a fishing rod or two. Yes, we've got some fishing rods uh, set aside in the shed, which you can see later on. How many? Uh, 72 at last <laughs> Do you think you've gone overboard? No, 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 they're always, you never throw one away. <laughs> but fishing might have to wait. I'm going to get warm and dry in my spa villa. There's heaps of room for a family and a magnificent spa. I'll be using that later. But it's not the only impressive building here. The amenities block is a sight to be seen. On the floor in the ladies, there's a mosaic of this beautiful mermaid. And I'm led to believe next door in the men's, King Neptune resides. Neptune has the right idea. Embrace the elements. And that's just what I'm going to do. Right, got my accommodation sorted. Now I just need something to do. Back to the app. Horse riding on the beach. It's got my name written all over it. On the Tunkari side of the lake is Horse About Tours. They run bush and beach horse rides led by experienced horseman Craig. We live in a real good area and there's plenty of bush here, plenty of beach and a lot of people don't know about it, you know, so I decided to get it going. And living the dream. <laughs> You're living the dream. <laughs> yeah. And what a dream. Now, it's not a riding school, but the guys at Horse About Tours will help beginners like me get a few basic skills before heading out. If you're too much rain, they can just go on you. Oh, And you're trying okay. to stop them from up here. Right. No good, you need to be stopping from down here. A few figure eights, and I reckon I'm good to go. Let's get this horse on the road, or bring the beach. Bring him out, bring him out here. <laughs> There's something incredibly soothing and beautiful about taking a slow horse ride through the bush. And when the beach opens out in front of you, the ride goes from soothing to absolutely exhilarating. Stormy weather almost makes it more exciting. Riding on the beach is quite an experience, even if your horse isn't too keen on getting wet. He doesn't want to go swimming. <laughs> you can do it driving or you can do it riding, but you have to see this part of the legendary Pacific Coast. On a sunny day, it is absolutely beautiful. And even on a day like today, it's breathtaking. You can't lose. Take Australia's most popular road trip route, the legendary Pacific Coast, and stop off in the Great Lakes region. Yep, forget that great ocean road. The legendary Pacific Coast is awesome and it's in our state. Check out the highlights with the app or log on to pacificcoast.com.au to plan your next road trip. <laughs> <laughs>